Hello and welcome to AutoCAD 2013. For this tutorial we're going to take an image that we made in Inkscape that's a multi-layer logo with different colors and we're going to just set it up so we can print it in AutoCAD. First step is to open that. So in AutoCAD I'm going to hit the little open file. I'm going to make sure we have DXF selected and I'll pick my file. So Surrey Fin is our logo and open. And here's the logo that we had in Inkscape. We've got three distinct sections, dark gray, light gray, and green. Each of these needs their own layer. So I'm going to come up to my layer properties manager here, click on that, and it brings up the layers. So I need to add three layers. One, two, three. Layer one is going to be renamed. And this will be dark gray. Layer two we will rename to the light gray, Oops. light gray, and layer three will be renamed to green. All right, that's finished. Let's close that up. Now we need to move this stuff into the its associated layer. So I select the dark gray one and select the dark gray layer. Hit escape. Select the light gray one. Select the light gray layer. And escape, select the green one, and select the green layer. I could have assigned colors to these layers, but I know that Inkscape won't change the color anyway when it goes into AutoCAD. Next step is to move these layers and line them up with the logo. Not necessary, but it just helps view what you need to do. So I can use move up here from the, from the menu, or I could type move in the command line. So move, enter, select objects. Okay, well, I want to move this gray layer. I'm finished selecting, so I hit enter. Select that. I'm just going to zoom in so I can really see what I'm doing. Now, object snap's kind of messing me up, so I'm going to turn that off. There we go. And I want that right about there. So I've got that in place. Now we're going to move this layer, so I can select that. Move. My base point could be here, and we'll just move that straight up and into place. So now we can see our Surrey logo. If we wanted, we could turn layers off. There we go, turn that back on. And that's that. The next thing we need to do is measure it out and figure out how big it is. So under utilities, I've got measure. I'll click on that. Go across 365 centimeters. Nowhere near big enough for a banner, but too big for a t-shirt. So I'd say about 60% of this would give us a good t-shirt. So I'm going to hit escape. And I can either use scale from up here in modify, or I can type scale in my command line. So scale, select objects. Well, I can make a box around it to select all, or I can just type all, enter. I'm finished selecting objects, so I hit enter. Specify base point. I'll specify one right there. And my scale factor, what did I say? 60%, so 0.6. If I was going to double this, the scale factor would be 2. Cut in half would be 0.5. 10 times would be 10. So this is just depending on the size that you're going from and going to. So 0.6, enter. We'll zoom in. Now let's do another utility measure just to make sure I did that right. So 21. Uh, centimeters, that's a good size. Hit escape. If this were going to be a sticker or a banner, it is ready to print. If it's going to be a t shirt, there's one more step, and that's to mirror it. Now, if we go up here, I've got a mirror tool, or I can type mirror in the command line. So go mirror, enter, select objects, so I can type all, or I can select them. I'll type all this time. And enter again, I'm finished. First point of mirror line. Second point of mirror line, erase original, yep, yes, enter. And there we go, that's ready to be printed for a t-shirt. 